Welcome, laddies and gentlemen, uh, to this, uh, another probably fantastic video, uh, which is the third recording of, by the way, because the first one I realized, hey, uh, I accidentally hit the stream button instead of the record button, and then the second one, I also said hey, and said, hey, this isn't good. So apparently after not recording for, I don't know how long it's been, like a week, a couple days, close to a week. Well, the hiatus just kind of catches up to you, so you know what? Just call me Togashi. I'm... I'm all ready. But last time, we uh, were very friendly with a large, a large variety of fishermen along a very, very non-repetitive route, and got something that will be very useful to us for our troubles. Lying isn't actually useful. Now this route, uh, which, in addition to being quite long, also has the lovely combination of bug types and steel types, and the rain. So I can't exactly use Wrath. Uh, Norton is overleveled as all hell, or as all heck, sorry, sorry. And Waluigi is in this state. I don't feel like going back to healing, so I guess we're going full buggo it is. Now, uh, I actually don't know what to say right now. I can talk about this wild Pokemon if I need to. Hey, Pikachu. Oh! Guess what? It's relevant. Okay, so, uh, a few days ago, I, th I believe two days ago by the day I'm recording this, which is probably also going to be the day I'm uploading it, uh, the new trailers for Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu came out. Several things were revealed, but I think that the most important thing, obviously, was that the rival was not a dickhead. Now, I, I went through a whole story arc of emotions concerning this. First it was like, how? How? How, how dare you? I want, I want to be talked down to, and then I wonder if, if I was actually a masochist, uh, which I don't believe I am. But then, uh, I thought of the rest of the Pokemon games. You know, first gen, Blue, he's great, everyone loves Blue. Second gen, Silver, probably the best rival. Third gen, Wally, he got a Mega. Also, great character arc. What, what, what Pokemon am I? Oh yeah, Ladybug, okay. Uh, time to show you the overpoweredness of a terrible uh, antivirus. Uh, but Wally, yeah, he's great. And then. Okay, but then fourth gen, if we can get past this, you know, this, this annoyance that is a ladybug that is also not good. Um, fourth gen, we had Barry. I almost forgot his name for a second. But he was also great, and he was the first rival to have any sort of animation. So, you know, that's something new. And then fifth gen, we had the wonderfulness that was N. Sharon, Bianca, uh... The, the guy from Black and White 2, I, for, I forgot his name, but he had the anime hair, and he wore red. That's all I remember about him. But he was great, and he had this whole story arc about stealing Pokemon, and then it, it was great. And then Gen 6. And, and that's when I realized that my gripe was not with uh, a rival that was an asshole. It was just, I, I don't like Generation 6. Oh god, that's Scyther. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, uh, oh, light screen faded, that's great, but I don't know if it's gonna help me now. Lovely. Lovely, uh, Scyther, that's great, okay. Now, because you're at such a compromising position, that, that was, that was terrible wording, but I think that Wrath, you need the experience, you're under level is all hell, like, if a wild trainer is the same level, I forgot he was using Pursuit. I... that was... That's on me. Okay. Well, Ember. Actually, that's an interesting thing about this game. Uh, in normal Pokemon games, whenever you switch out a Pokemon, it's going to default to the top left move. But here, it is the same move for all the Pokemon. So at the beginning of the battle, it's going to default to the top left. But if you are in a Pokemon and you say, use the top right move, well, that now it's going to be top right. 
Bob, I'm you're the only one who isn't actually injured. Let's see if you can do this. What? Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Rath, can you, uh. Uh. Oh god, I used the wrong attack. And I'm gonna die. Um. Waluigi? Can you do this? Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Well, that was lovely, and I think it uh, warrants a tactical retreat. I'll be right back. Okay, now, another problem with not playing for a while is, 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 is not knowing that you have... You have I'll just show you. 20 repels! Okay, that's not all. 28 super potions. And I was blissfully unaware. Hello, Mr. Hiding Purple Man. Good heavens, look at the time! The only time you'll be looking at is the time it took me to beat you. But, uh... Has this already happened? Oh, it has already happened. I keep forgetting what's happening because everything is... is, is it's, it's, it's all one thing. All, all this, you, the trees, the grass, it's all one thing. I'm just gonna skip you. I don't know which was more pathetic. That man having a level 9 Tyrogue or the fact that I couldn't KO it in one hit. Oh, yes! Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, but what's even more beautiful is that I can press... Oh. Oh, yeah, this is not a, a, a previous recording, and I haven't done that yet. Well, let, let me do that right now. Oh, where are you? You, uh, you frigging... Where are my key items? There they are. Okay. Okay, good rod. I would like to register you, you to the cute key. You're going to have three registered items as opposed to the four in Kalos. So, guess what? This is behind the times. But what I can do is... going to be steady, right? You're going to be steady. You're going to act like a fish. Pretend you're a fish. And then you'll get the fish. Now, what could this bad boy be? That? No, that? Okay. Okay. Send it back. We don't want that. Honestly, I'm not trying to catch anything. I just... You know, I just wanted to have some fun. And Goldeen, I... That's impressive, really. You have Rain having the power of Fire-type moves. You have Water Sport also having the power of Fire-type moves. And the fact that you're Water-type having the power of Water-type moves. Or Fire-type moves, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, that I, I believe that they all have the power of Fire-type moves. So if I'm not mistaken, that is one-eighth damage from Fire-type moves. Although it would be stab, so 1 8th times 1.5 is going to be uh, 1.5 eighths, which is 3 24ths? No, no, it's 3 16ths. It would do 3 16ths normal damage, which is almost a fourth damage, but not entirely. Now, here we have some lovely orange berries and a man whose scalp shines through the grass brighter than uh, Jaden Smith shines through Twitter. That was a lovely reference.
Now, the moral of that story is both that Porygon is an under is an indes no, sorry, not Porygon. Um, that Rodon is an indestructible beast, and that you should not teach Sharpen to a Porygon that it has the only attacking move of Psybeam. Near an area where you can get dark types. Okay, so let's uh, super potion it up in here. Babam, here you go. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is the fancy uh, Gen Five way of doing it, where you don't have to go into the menu beforehand. Oh, oh, it might be Gen Five, it might be Gen Six. I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't matter. We're going on ahead. So why are there no berries there? I don't know. Did you eat them? Did you eat those berries? The ranger later commanded me to battle whomever I look at. Oh, oh. So you're a man of culture as well. Okay. I'll be back. Now, because because walking 255 steps raises your Pokémon's happiness, I mean, it's variable based on how much happiness they already have, but because of all the walking we're doing, uh, it might just balance out the amount of fainting that we're doing. Now, uh, can I skip you? I can't skip. Like, I don't, there aren't the uh, turning trainers in this game, so... Okay. I guess I'll go with round two. Look at that, four damage. You may have think you destroyed my team in another life, but it is I that was destroyed by your team in another life. It's, it's from my perspective, not yours. Actually, that reminds me of the Pokemon Ranger Club, which... Ooh. Oh. I see some fancy hair colors up above. Okay, I'll talk about the Ranger Club later. It's basically the Police Club, but different, and it's in a later town. Oh, this looks fancy. Okay. Professor Oak? No, I don't want to use another Repel. Do it. Does it look like there's any more grass? My boy, Oak! Zeus! This has gone on long enough. Oh, my Oak voice is slowly degrading with my age. I know Team Olympus has taken over the Pokehedron Collider, and let me tell you, you will never succeed. You don't have the time, color. I'd... Someone else is talking. I. I. Okay, I'm just gonna do normal voice because I honestly have no idea who's talking. Just the colors switching around. It's like, hey, hey, Cyrus. I remember what color you talked in about an hour ago, a couple hours ago. Is that so? I know someone who might disagree with you. Isn't that right, Malarkey? Malarkey, did you hear what he just said? It's pointing to N, but it's actually my mother. He's bluffing, right? They truly have the time call in the world as we know it could be doomed. No, no, it's fine. All we gotta do is make a wish upon a Clefairy. Are they telling the truth? I'm sorry to say. They did beat up a shaman. Let's stick it in a bag. Oh. No! No! It can't be. It's impossible. No. You feel it to be true, Arya. Believe it, Arya. It was a shame you never chose to join us all those years ago. You could have had a taste of this. Ha ha ha! Feast your eyes on the almighty shaman, which I somehow got the Gracidia flower for. The legendary Pokemon. It can't be. No! I will not stand to see another brave Pokemon enslaved. Okay, and just go back to Unova. Nobody likes you. I mean, I like you, but you're not relevant here. And Cyrus, shouldn't you be in jail? You just kind of... I should know. That's another thing that... The the villains never go to jail. Like, N... N didn't do anything bad, actually. He just kind of did some peaceful processing. But Cyrus, he tried to destroy the universe without actually doing it. He led a, a legitimate power company. But, you know, it doesn't matter. 
they have brightly colored hair, and they're redeemed. Therefore, uh, they get off. This is not good. They found one of the most powerful artifacts known to mankind. That's not how you spell artifacts. It's with an I. And they've already used the summon of rare and powerful Pokemon. It is, uh, it is a shaman. I mean, yeah, it's powerful, but you know, I could just like ice beam it. I don't know ice beam, but I could say I do. Have you ever met the legend researcher town? I have actually, and he researches that very Pokemon. Hence the name. I need you to go see him. Please, please tell me that I will not have to backtrack through a cave, through a long fucking route, and a bridge, and also this route that I just got to. This book explains everything. We'll wait for your return. You're actually serious. You're actually serious. Oh my, okay. You're at. Uh. Ah! Tranquil! I do not feel tranquil. I do feel like destroying something with Bubble Beam, though. Oak, did. Did, did Oak just say walk all this way to Superior Town? Okay. I guess I'll cut. Oh! 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 Why didn't you fucking tell me? Okay, now while I'm here, uh, this is in the Wikipedia page, so I know it's important. While I'm here, what I gotta do is heal up at the Pokemon Center because that I won't have a chance to do that in the near future, and because I will follow whatever the Wikipedia page says. Uh, well, let's check out this legend researcher. Hello. Oh, hey there. I'm sorry about the mess. Oh, okay, same dialogue. I just wanna check out the book that. Yep, legendary Pokemon. It's a Mewtwo. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's the book that I checked out when I was here the first time next to the NES, and uh, I don't know what that is, but I guess it's now of plot importance, so I can read it. Read what it says! In the ancient void, there was nothing. Then, there was an egg. A golden egg. A powerful egg. Inside this egg was a beast known as Arceus. There were many wars later on how to actually utter the beast's name. But its true name is Arceus, and if you don't like that, you can shut the fuck up. Arceus created the world as we know it, time, space, and antimatter, and created awe-inspiring beasts to guard them. Arceus created life to inhabit the world, and then sealed himself away in his own dimension to play go fish for all eternity. And created Pokemon to do something. Oh! Malarkey! Hello, Mewtwo statue, which the text box is pointing to. How are you doing today? Sorry about the mess. Oh, Professor sent you here? That. Okay. This isn't good. We need to talk. How do I put this? Remember that unknown you saw in the cave? It's pretty powerful, right? No! It was the opposite of that, actually. It was a piece of shit. Imagine that kind of power times a couple billion, and you have the power of a legendary Pokemon. I have looked at the base stats of the legendary Pokemon that you're talking about, because it has plot importance and is like a Sonic OC character. See, the time, uh, and it is not that powerful. It's pretty powerful, but it's not that powerful. See, the time color allows its user to splice the fabric of time to bring something from the past to the present. Effectively, it calls a Pokemon from another time, hence the name. If Team Olympus has that, then they can catch every legendary Pokemon ever. And if they, if they, remember how I told you to go visit Wilson in Fianga City? Wilson is one of the lead scientists in the Pokehedron Collider. It just, they can summon a really powerful Pokemon at the Pokehedron Collider if they use the time color. They could also do some other things. Like, create gold atoms. That, that's probably the, you, ha you read the myth of Arceus, right? Yep. It's called plot contrivance. Well, it says that Arceus created the universe and then fell into a deep sleep. No, we'll play Go Fish, as I said. It's... That book's wrong. I... I saw the original copy on eBay. But last year I asked myself, if Arceus created the world, who maintains it? Huh. Huh. It's... It's... It's beautiful. It's... It's... It's like, I did this once. It's like, okay, so... What if Kronos only controlled time and he had a brother that controlled entropy? And like, I made a whole, like, 13 minute video about that on my main channel many years ago. Don't watch that, it's terrible. 
Uh, from what I can gather, Arceus created a Pokemon with power to match its own, to watch over the universe in its absence. It wasn't absence, it, it's a sleep. Like, if, do you not know the the one sleeping dude, the big sleeping dude? I'll put the name up. Big sleeping dude from H.P. Uh, Lovecraft stories. I don't know, there's a dude who's asleep. Also, it's the same thing in Elder Scrolls. It's always something that's asleep. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but you can imagine if some Pokemon fell into Team Olympus's hands. You better go. Go find the professor and tell him what I told you. And this time, we actually do have to make the entire trek across. Nope. I lied. Ha. <laughs> but, as I spray this repel, let me bid you... Uh...